My book is about my life. It's very strongly set in a mother-daughter relationship and us adjusting to the fact that um, I was an illegitimate child in 1963 and my mother adapting to the shame that goes with that. It's a positive story. Um, there are lots of dark moments. There are lots of moments where I completely lose my way and, I, and in the telling of it, I haven't pulled any punches. But ultimately, I hope that it makes people feel good there are funny parts, um, there are moments I think where it's quite touching, but it all comes right in the end. But it is a complete journey, it's a 47 year old story, there are 47 years in there. It isn't a list of show business jobs, it isn't a list of celebrity shags, it is my entire life um, and me trying to make sense of it as I write and hopefully at the end I've done that. That's my flat. Uh, that's Stevenson House on the second floor. That's our flat. Oh my god. In my little toddler's three year old, I think, three year old life, I'm thinking if I could just keep my mum away from men, then nothing bad would happen. And I remember watching her get in the back of a cab through that little iron grill and my nan physically having to restrain me because I was screaming at my mum through there. Oh, oh I'm going to get upset now. Yeah, I've just, just done uh, Loose Women today. Um, I love this job, I absolutely love it. Um, I'd, I'd never thought that I'd be comfortable talking so openly about my life, and I wasn't in the beginning. Um, but I, it's just like second nature now. So yeah, from, from going on tour, doing my own washing, getting a rash from the paper knickers, to doing the Les Dennis Laughter Show and learning how to do impressions, to doing the Lisa Maxwell Show, then going off to Los Angeles, which was a, definitely a career highlight, being signed to Paramount Studios, fantastic opportunity to cocking that up. As, as I've said in the book, I did start to make myself sick when I was in Los Angeles. My way of dealing with psychological problems in my life was to take control of my physical appearance, which would have no bearing on the real problems at all. And that's why, you know, that's why a lot of people don't understand that eating disorders aren't about the food. If you dig deep, you do find that you go to dark places um, and I'm somebody that had to dig deep to make sense of my life because all my life I never, I never dug anywhere. I, I skimmed across the surface, I put everything in a very happy jolly place, made a joke about it, it was very much like my nan which is well f if they can't take a joke, on we go. And you can keep doing that and you can keep doing it and moving on and moving upwards and having a laugh and it's all under the carpet and you know you don't want to dwell on the negatives and all that but there comes a point where the carpet starts floating because you've got so much going on under it and it, you don't get away with it forever. So the book has helped me lift the carpet up, take all the, all the horrible things out one by one, understand them, face them, which was hard, but at least I know exactly what happened and why I'm as mad as I am. There, there's our old school gates. Which was hard, but at least I know exactly what happened.